So my brothers, nifaq, hypocrisy is a bad disease. What can we do to cure hypocrisy? What can we do? Think, if I lie, if I break the promises, if I commit excesses, oppress, and I break the trust, and I argue with people, that anger is on the tip of my nose, then what do I become? 100% what? Nifaq, hypocrisy. Hazrat Ka'ab radiyallahu anhu stated, my love, please, when the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prescribed a solution, a cure. If I've got an illness, I take the tablet, the drug, then I'm hopeful that with Allah Ta'ala's grace and blessings and permission, the disease will go. So I'm inshallah hopeful, we are hopeful, we should be, that if we take the cure, the hypocrisy will go. What is the cure that's being prescribed? Hazrat Ka'ab radiyallahu anhu said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked us, and we asked and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave the cure, the solution for hypocrisy. That remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in abundance, high quantity. And this is what happens in the khanqa. In the khanqa, in the teaching center of the sheikh. What do we need to do? Dhikr Allah, remember Allah in high quantity. Abundance. Have we not read the Quran? La yafkuruna illa qalila. The munafiks, their sign is that they don't do dhikr, but they very few times do they do dhikr. And they run from dhikr, they don't utter Allah Ta'ala's name from their mouth. They don't have that desire, the zest, the passion. The munafik will never do dhikr. Never. The person who's got nifaq, high grade, he won't do dhikr either. And when you see him, then look at this point here. What an important point. In that heart, in that human being, there's no passion for dhikr. Doesn't have that desire. Doesn't have that fervor. And he's old and they laugh and they run away from dhikr. This is the sign of hypocrisy. But love is where a person runs to dhikr. Ishq. Love. So Rasulullah told us that the cure wahid is kathiran dhikr. Kathiran kathira. High quantity, my brothers. The illness is there. What should we do? Dhikr of Allah in abundance. High quantity. Regularly. Consistently. Shaitan, they puts the waswasa in our hearts, in our minds. Doctor will say to you, the hair is the white and the yellow tablet and your blood pressure will reduce. And you look at the tablet and eat it. And do you say, that why isn't there the taste of an apple here or honey in this tablet? You just put the tablet quietly into your mouth and you've already got the glass of water so that the tablet goes zoom, through the throat into the stomach so you can't taste that bitter taste on the tip of your tongue, on your taste buds. But you're taking the tablet with caution so that it goes through into the throat, down into the stomach because you want to get rid of the, the problem. So Allah Ta'ala's name, we sit down, we say, there's no enjoyment, I can't feel this, I can't see the vision. My brothers, if the tablet will give effect and it's bitter, will Allah Ta'ala's name not give effect? 80%, 70%, I tell you rather, 99% people today don't do dhikr, I don't feel enjoyment. Oh, the tasbih, I can't uh, feel enjoyment in it, I can't see any benefit. And they think that after dhikr, I should be high level spiritually, that I should do miraj the same night. Burak is coming, I'm going in the night, ascending. These are people's minds, an image that has become uh, common in people's minds. And where is that action? That for we eat haram, drink haram, all our whole lifestyle is haram, framework is haram, haram visions, haram, our desires are so high, unlawful, think about it. And this is the beginning. And when we do a bit of dhikr, we say, oh, there's no effect. So when this happens in the beginning, when people come, alhamdulillah, there's a lot of happiness. And I keep looking and analyze and I observe that I do dua Allah, make this person uh, steadfast. Shaitan's running after him. When I see that person's run away and shaitan has taken him, it's very sad at that time. And I see the tussle of that man, nafs and shaitan. He comes, passion, high passion. He's coming, learning dhikr, sitting, taking tasbih, asking me, coming to meet me. And especially, I speak to that person, give him tawajjoh, give that person time in the masjid. And I see and I observe that, mashallah, where's that brother? And, and then after that, I observe with time, slowly, Allah Ta'ala, he's now in your hand. Allah, give him the strength. I've taught him everything. Now shaitan and nafs will tussle with him, clash with him. And we see many people, shh, they disappear. Oh, I'm going on Umrah, Hajj. And when they say this, oh, I think he's gone. That person's gone. So, I mean, how beautiful is Allah Ta'ala's name. Okay, understood? So we are solid on the path of dhikr? Yes, come to dhikr. Now don't think, do I enjoy or not? What do we need to think? That we're doing dhikr for this reason, Allah, to eliminate nifaq. And when nifaq comes out, we'll become honest and we won't be liars anymore. We won't uh, break the promises and we won't uh, breach the trust. We won't breach the trust. We won't be greedy. We won't oppress. And we will take the assistance of your name and eliminate all these things. And the rest of enjoyment, inshallah, we'll meet uh, Allah, with your permission, will meet in there often. We, we cannot speak here. We don't have that status. That's how we should be told. Allah, I want to remember you. And I want to get the word in there often. And, uh, so I can meet you. Allah, Allah loves us. He says, speak to me. Allah gives us time. He's given us time to speak to him. We can dial Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can dial. In the morning, tahajjud time, before fajr. Read. 
Surah Rahman, recite it. Pray. Surah Rahman, and then recite them, speak to Allah. But be pure and clean. There should be no haram and lawful. And you should have true and honest and pure lawful earnings going into your stomach. That's giving you the energy and then speak to Allah and see if the answer comes or not. Allah Ta'ala said himself, that I call out to you. Has Allah Ta'ala not said this? I'm calling out to you. And yes, but there's dirt in our ears. Isn't it like sometimes when the ears block, you go to the doctor and then he takes the syringe and sucks out the dirt. Oh, I can hear everything. Yeah, yeah. So when the dirt comes out the ear, then Allah Ta'ala calls out. Then we'll hear. We will listen. 